Hello, everybody. I'm Dan Olds. It's the ISC 20 student cluster competition. I am here with Team Warsaw, who is widely scattered across Poland, I would assume. But uh, let's find out about you. Uh, Merrick, you want to start out? Tell us who you are yeah. and what you do for the team. Sure. So my name is Marek, um, and in IST20 competition, I'm uh, in kind of the part of the team who uh, takes care of the Gromax challenge and uh, the okay. AI challenge. So basically, uh, when it comes to Gromax, we're just trying to get the best performance, the, per the best performer performance out of the runs. And for the AI challenge, we just want to get a good score. Okay. Okay. How's Gromax been going so far? Well, um, we've been trying to run it uh, on a different variety of setups. For instance, uh, all on CPU or mm -hmm. all on GPU or like a uh, kind of mix between, for instance, uh, open MP processes and MPI processes, which work better. And for now, we have a theory that uh, Mo the more MPI processes we will spawn, the better the performance might be. Although the workload balance kind of gets way, way worse. Oh. So we're just trying to figure it out how to best run it. Okay. Well, you do have some time, which is good. You yeah, have a, sure. Like you said, you have a couple of weeks. Very good. So, uh, Wojciech, what is up with you? Yeah, in this competition, I take care about the coding challenge and Django challenge. Okay, how's the coding challenge going so far? Are you doing much on it? On well, the coding challenge, I think we have uh, done implementing the first part of the task. We did not implement yet the extra part, which is the phantom maximum minimum boundaries or loads in the cells. I don't really remember, mm. but uh, it's going fine. Okay. Okay, that's good. Alexandra, you are up next. How are things going? So I'm doing uh, Elmer Ice Challenge. Mm -hmm. mm, and I'm kind of struggling since I've always been on the hardware and administrating side. So that's all new to me. Ah. And as for now, I'm trying to run it with different MPI versions. That's a good move. That's a good idea. That can make a significant difference. So keep going on along that route and see how it goes. Uh, how about you, Ivana? Ivana? Uh, Ivana, yes. Ivana. So I'm, there we I'm go. also responsible for the coding challenge. And as Wojciech mentioned, well, we're, we're done with the um, basic part. And I also serve as a rapid a rubber duck for other team members so just anybody who needs something they come yelling uh, at you pretty much <laughs> rapid response force she's great at, at that <laughs> <laughs> I, I recommend her <laughs> fantastic that's good so what's it like trying to coordinate remotely it's really tough mm -hmm. because for mm -hmm. instance before the whole pandemic situation we would meet at least for like once every two weeks or even once every week mm -hmm. and right now it's way harder to kind of uh, get our schedules to line up in a way so that all of us are present like for instance right now uh, we should be like the entire team could be here but uh, for instance something could have uh, came up for one of our team members. Yeah. So like some kind of emergency or something. Yeah, so you never know. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, it seems that it should be easier because, well, we Everybody's don't exactly home. have to commute. We are all at home. But actually, it turns out that we all have like way less time because classes take more time. Uh -huh. um, so it's kind of harder to work around those things. Mm. Yeah. And, and to Moz, also, we didn't talk to you yet. Uh, let's introduce yourself. Uh, hi, uh, I'm working with Marek on the AI part. Uh, so that's Bert. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, and coming back to your question about the pandemic, uh, I think we're overall more 
affected not directly, uh, but the fact that it's disturbed our classes, uh, it's made us so much more busy right now uh, because we're having our finals coming up next week. Oh, so no. preparing for that and coordinating and splitting our time between the competition and, uh, and, and not failing our classes, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been hard. You know what? If you have to make a choice between the two, throw away the university stuff and win the competition. <laughs> You'll be famous. Exactly. That's You'll be the, the first Polish team ever to win. They'll build statues of you. They'll have parades. You'll never have to work a day, another day in your life. You'll be rich. So you've got to sacrifice something for the glory. And I suggest we'll see about that. forget about the finals. Don't worry about them. They're done. And yeah, whatever. Don't even show up for them. Good We're advice. not going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Okay, that's, that's true. settled. <laughs> so all of your finals are coming electronically, eh? Uh, yes, some of them have been turned into assignments, but ah. uh, most of them are going to be held online. Mostly Zoom, Google Meet. Well, you know, the, the other thing you miss out on is um, meeting all of the other competitors as well. I think that, that's yes. a great part. Uh, some of us have been to SC19 mm -hmm. and uh, networking there was a great part to, to keep us sane while doing yes. the whole marathon of coding and debugging and problem and solving. It, it reminds you too that everybody else is facing the same problems and having the same challenges, right? That's right. Uh, maybe yeah. not brainstorming, but just even the subtle hints that you get uh, seeing other people get stuck in the same places as you or maybe not get stuck. And th that's a hint that the problem's probably much smaller than you think. Maybe yeah. you're stuck uh, on, on the stupid technicality. A missed comma or semicolon or something. Who knows? Uh, uh, an off by one error. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is great. I'm glad that we got as many of you together as we could. We got five out of six. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's a win. Um, so, are your feelings hurt? Yes, a little bit. My feelings Sorry, are hurt that. a little bit. I know. Well, tell Dominic. I mean, he and I have had several great interviews over the years, but he's dead to me now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he can make it up to me if he shows up at the next time we try and do this. Maybe, but I'm not sure. But anyway, you all did show up, and that's fantastic. Thank you very much. I know everybody's going to uh, gonna like getting a chance to meet you, and uh, good luck. Thank you, and we Thank look forward much. to Thank seeing you. the videos from the other teams. Yes, yes, Thank I'll you. be working on those too. Thank you very much, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.